Hey, what's up guys? Justin with Tier 1 Tactical. Today I'm going to take a look at a newly released version of the Concept Sprite. About two weeks ago I did a review on this one here, which actually has the satin blade and the carbon fiber inlays. Well, just this past week Concept released this one with the stonewash blade and the green micarta inlays. Now I know some people would prefer micarta over carbon fiber and vice versa which is why I find it just totally cool that concept is appealing to the buyer and putting out these different variations of their knives that's just a great thing and it really goes a long way with me me I'm a little more partial to the carbon fiber but this thing is extremely nice as well of course you're gonna get a little bit better grip once this micarta gets a little moisture on it which you know I can't say the same for the carbon fiber Carbon fiber is really slick, but it just looks good. Both of these knives have the same great drop shut action. I mean, <laughs> this thing's just too sweet. Listen to the sound of it. And both of them have that sound. Man, this one was actually loaned to me by Carlos at Daily Carry Solutions. And I think he knows how much I love that knife. Because he actually let me keep it a little longer so I could do a couple more comparison videos and stuff with it. Again, everything I've seen with this little symbol right there on it has been just absolutely phenomenal. Like this here, this is the budget version of the Cryo, which has a D2 blade and the carbon fiber scales. This thing is just absolutely awesome. It feels great in the hands. The ergonomics on the Cryo is just oh, so sweet. Now this one here is the S35VN titanium version which is, of course, a little bit nicer than this one and yeah, close to double the price. But the ergonomics on the cryos are just so sweet. Anyway, as far as the specs go on this thing, the overall length is 8.13. The blade length is 3.58 with a width of 1 inch. And the thickness, which is actually a little bit thicker than your average folder, it is coming in at 0.15. But if you look really closely, you can see it tapers off quite nicely towards that tip. So it makes it a really, really great slicer. The handle length or closed length is 4.55 with a width of 1 inch and a thickness of 0.49. So just to put a little bit of context behind that, the Benchmade Mini Bug Out that I reviewed the other day is 0.47. So <laughs> it's definitely got a thin profile. As far as the weight goes... 3.910 so anything sub five ounces is great for EDC in my opinion and probably most people's you know if you're used to carrying a pocket knife you're definitely not going to notice that in your pocket at all but I got to say I'm completely blown away with the Sprite and I honestly can't wait to see what's next for concept but Next up, I just want to say thank you to my buddy John for sending over these awesome stickers, which I will be finding a spot on my backdrop for very, very soon. Thank you, sir. Much, much appreciated. Also, Central Kentucky Bushcraft, much, much appreciated. Yours will be going on there as well. Um, I'm trying to squeeze everybody in, but it's looking like I'm going to have to get another backdrop here soon and maybe reposition the camera to squeeze them all in. But I guess we'll see how that goes. If you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram where I will be having another pretty big giveaway coming up here soon. Which I'll announce that all in due time. Stay safe out there. See you guys on the next one.